worship the Lord together. Just one word, you come the storm that surrounds me. Just one word, the darkness has to retreat. Just one touch, I feel the presence of heaven. Just one touch, my eyes were open to see. My heart can't help but believe. There's nothing that I can't.
Welcome to the study of the Word of God. And we'll talk about continually our series on celebrating the love of God. But before we do that, remain standing and tayo po ay uh, magbasa ng ating mga deklarasyon. Reading together now. I declare God's incredible blessings, abundant provisions, and divine health over my life. I will see an explosion of God's favor and goodness, a supernatural increase and promotion. I will experience in every aspect of my life the surpassing greatness of God's favor. I will enjoy a deeper level of spiritual relationship with my God as I constantly grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior. I declare God's wisdom, guidance, direction, and protection in my daily life. I am full of God's grace and anointing of the Spirit to live according to His plan. I will obey God's call for my life and fulfill my God-given purpose and destiny. As I experience God's abundance and prosperity, I will remain faithful, devoted, and dedicated to Him in worship, prayer, and being a channel of His love to others. Tayo po'y manalain and remain standing, please. Salamat, Panginoon, sa iyo pong gabay, sa iyong panguna, sa aming pag-aaral ay yung salita na lalong titibay kami sa pag-ibig mo, na lalo kaming mag-uugat upang lubos naming maunawaan ang lawak, ang lalim, ang haba, ang taas ng pag-ibig mo sa amin. Salamat po, Diyos, sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. You can now take your seat at before na umupo, sabihin mo sa katabi mo, I love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. Celebrate God's love. Now, let's talk about this topic on faith works through love. Ang panampalataya po ay kumikilos, gumagawa, nagiging epektibo sa pamagitan lamang ng pag-ibig ng Diyos. Let's begin with Galatians 5.6. Read together. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything, but faith working, activated, and expressed through love. Amen. Ang love pong binabanggit dito is the agape love, which is selfless, sacrificial, unconditional love of God expressed through Jesus' death on the cross. So makita natin dito, ang panampalataya natin ay hindi natin maihiwalay sa pag-ibig ng Diyos na ipinhayag niya sa atin kay Kristo Yesus. At ang panampalataya natin ay nagiging epektibo lamang, ito'y nagiging uh, mabunga lamang sa pamagitan ng pag-ibig ng Diyos. That's why faith and love cannot be separated. Because faith only works through the love of God in Christ. At kung papalitan natin ito, faith working, activated, and expressed through love. Alisin natin yung love, palitan natin ito ng Jesus. So faith works through Jesus. Because Jesus is the concrete expression of the love of God. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, Jesus, so that those who believe in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. 1 John 5, 3 and 4, read together now. For this is the love of God, that will keep His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome, because everyone born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Makita po natin dito that faith is the hand that receives the victory. And it is love that releases the power for the victory. And sabi po ron, and this is the victory that has overcome the world. Whatever struggles na meron po tayo sa mundo, problema, hilahil, mga kabigatan, stress, distress, depression, whatever shon na meron tayo sa mundo na hindi nakalulugod sa atin o hindi ito nakabubuti para sa atin, these are things that we need to overcome. And we overcome these things sa pamagitan po ng ating pananampalataya. And nabanggit po kanina, faith is the hand that receives the victory. Inaangkin natin sa pamagitan ng pananampalataya ang tagumpay ng Panginoong Yesus na ginawa niya doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Subalit, kahit na tayo ay manampalataya sa Kanya, 
Kung hindi ipinahayag ng Diyos ang kanyang pag-ibig sa atin, we will not have the power for the victory. So ang Panginoon pa rin, tayo ay tumatanggap, tumutugon sa, pangano- sa Panginoon sa pamagitan ng parampalataya. Tinatanggap natin ang pag-ibig na nire-release niya sa atin, na ipinahayag niya sa atin kay Kristo Jesus. And that's our victory. Faith in itself has no victory unless faith is connected with the love of God in Jesus Christ. Faith is not about ourselves. Faith is not about my ability to do the supernatural. You see, pagka sa panampalataya po, we can do things impossible. He who believes is able to do the impossible. He who believes have, has faith can move mountains, can heal the sick. Who has faith can have answers to his prayers. And ito po mga bagay na ito yung nagagawa natin sa supernatural, pero hindi ito dahil sa abilidad natin. But it is the love of God that brings the super in my natural ability. So hindi natin maalis ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. Faith, always remember the phrase, faith works through love. Through the agape, the unconditional, sacrificial love of God in Jesus Christ. Number one, ano po ang mga bagay na mapag-aaralan natin? When we understand that faith works through love, God's love releases us from performance mentality. Hindi natin masasabi na ito'y gawa ko. Hindi po. Uh, sometimes, you know, we have faith in our faith. We put our faith in our faith. Hindi ka sa Panginoong Jesus, kundi kung paano natin ine-exercise ang faith na andun ang pagtitiwala natin. It won't work. Yes, you can do that, but faith works through Jesus, through the love of God in Jesus Christ. You see, ang kultura po natin sa mundo, we are performance, we live in a performance-based culture. Palagi po measure kung ano ang performance mo. I would say, ang ugat po nito, ay dahil tayo ay nilalang ng Diyos ayon sa kanyang wangis at kalarawan. That's why there is always the natural tendency sa, pu- sa buhay ng tao that he is an achiever. He is a... His, he wants to uh, fulfill his purpose. Purpose-driven siya. Yung natural po. Of course, may mga tamad. Ano po? Pero ang natural sa tao, kung kanya lamang sisiyasatin ang kanyang puso, he desires success. He desires progress. He desires to have prosperity in his life. And what are these things? These are based on what he does. Ito po'y nababatay kung paano siya nagpa-perform sa buhay niya. Right? Kaya tayo, magmula bata, performance-based na po ang pagpapalaki sa ating mga anak. Okay? Base sa abilidad, base sa katalinuhan, base sa magagawa ng, ng tao. At gayon din kahit sa eskwela, performance-based tayo. That's why may mga grading system tayo. Minimeasure nila how you perform intellectually. Pagdating naman sa health, minimeasure din ang performance mo. Kumusta na ba ang blood pressure mo, ang uh, blood sugar mo, uh, kumusta ang um, vital signs. Kinukuha po yan to see how we perform physically. And not only that, financially, performance-based din tayo. Kaya tinatanong natin, ano ba ang interest, prevailing interest rate? Magkano ang kikitain ang pera ko? Magkano ba ang balik niyan? Magkano na ba ang nalugi sa akin? So these are things na na-ingrain na po sa ating isip at puso na sa lahat ng buhay, bagay, aspeto sa buhay natin, palagi ang measure ay performance. How we perform, whether good or not so good. And in the same way, naapektuhan po kung paano ang kaisipang ito sa ating pakikitungo sa Diyos. Now, when you exercise your faith in Jesus Christ, always remember, you cannot, your faith will not be effective apart from the love of God in Christ. So therefore, hindi po natin pwedeng uh, tingnan at gawin ang ating pakikipagrelasyon sa Diyos batay sa performance natin. Pag-usapan po natin ito. Mark 10, 17 and 18. As Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before him, 
Sabi po niya, good teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus answered, no one is good but God alone. What must I do to inherit eternal life? What must I do? Siguro kung sa atin, ganun din ang itatanong natin. Anong pe- pwede kong gawin? Batay sa gagawin natin o batay sa dapat na maging performance natin? Sometimes you look at spiritual things based on this uh, mindset, on this mentality. We live in a world that is dominated by a performance-based culture. Na, nabanggit ko na po ito. And therefore, sa ating pakikipag-ugnay sa Diyos, kung magkaminsan, gusto natin na tayo'y kalugdan ng Diyos, batay sa gawa natin, batay sa kung ano ang pepede natin gawin upang sa gayon, tayo maging katanggap-tanggap sa Diyos. But in, the, in reality, you cannot do anything, right? Nothing that you can do that will allow God to please, to be pleased with you. Because whether you do or not do anything, in His love, tinanggap ka, minahal ka niya, iniligtas ka niya, pinagpala ka niya, binigyan ka niya ng tagumpay, iniingatan ka niya, pinakakain ka niya, ibinibigay sa iyo lahat ng pangailan, kasama na ang load ng internet mo, kasama na ang gabay sa iyong module. Lahat po ito ay dahil sa pag-ibig ng Diyos. Hindi na natin kailangan pang improve ang sarili natin sa harap ng Diyos. Hindi na natin kailangan ding i-impress siya sa mga bagay na ginagawa natin so that we can avail of His favor. Hindi po. Dahil lamang yan sa desisyon ng Diyos na mahaling ka maging sino ka paman. At kung ikaw ay nanampalataya, yan po ay tugon mo sa pag-ibig ng Diyos na ipinahayag niya sa atin sa pamagitan ni Kristo. Jesus looked at him. Ano pong response ni Jesus? Jesus looked at him and loved him. Para bang sinasabi niya, sapat na ang pag-ibig ko sa iyo. Pero kung talagang uh, makulit ka at nais mong malaman kung anong dapat mong gawin, ang sabi ng Panginoon, one thing you lacked. Ang sabi kasi niya, previous, in the previous verses, sinabi niya, eh, ito mga... Ka, Lord, ito ginagawa ko eh. Nasunod ko na ang mga kautusan. Eto, ganito, ganoon. Pero sabi ng Panginoon, He was not impressed, right? Jesus was not impressed sa kanyang ginawa sapagkat hindi ito sa kanyang gawa. That's why sabi niya, one thing you lack. Let me say this, ano man ang gawin natin na tayo ay pilitin nating maging kalugod-lugod sa Diyos? Kulang at kapos. Tinimbang ka, ngunit kulang. Ano man ang bagay na gagawin mo, Kulang. Ano man ang bagay na papogi, pa-impress, o pabibo sa harap ng Diyos, He would always say, still lacking. We always will fall short of the glory of God. So one thing you lack, He said, go sell everything you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Bakit po sinabi ito ng Panginoong Isus? Baka, sapagkat nabatid ng Panginoong Isus na para bagang ang lalaking ito'y mayaman at ang kanyang pagtitiwala ay nasa kanyang kayamanan. Ang hinihingi ng Diyos sa kanya, manampalataya siya, ayon sa pag-ibig niya sa kanya. Hindi ayon sa kanyang magagawa. Now, kung ang pagti- pinagtitiwalaan niya ay ang kanyang kayamanan, ang nais ang Panginoon, alisin mo yung ibang pinagtitiwalaan mo. Ako lang ang pagtitiwalaan mo. Then come, follow me. See? The conclusion, then come, follow me. Hindi naman sinabi, oh, go. Sell everything you have and give it to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Period. No, hindi po nagwakas doon. Ang sabi niya, then come, follow me. Take away anything that you trust other than Jesus because all these things will always be lacking, will always be incomplete, will always fall short of the glory of God. Then come, trust me. Trust my love for you and then follow me. Uh, sometimes, naisip ko po, sa paglilingkod sa Panginoon, kung magkamin sa ito ang hamon sa atin, hindi natin lubos mapagkatiwala ng pag-ibig niya. Napagka tayo naglingkod sa Kanya, sinabi niya ating, uh, iiwanan ang trabaho ko sa mundo, ako ay maglilingkod sa Panginoon. 
uh, hindi natin lubos na mapaniwalaan na sa pag-ibig niya, God will always provide. God will always meet your needs. It's not the company. It's not even the church. It's the love of God that assures you that you will always be provided. That's why tayo po nagsusumikap tayo. Ano pong ginagawa? Nagsa-sideline tayo. Networking kaya. Nagbebenta ang iba ng, nigo, ng uh, tusino, uh, longganisa. Uh, nagbebenta ng insurance. You know? Why? Because sa ating sarili, hindi sapat ang pag ng Diyos. No, dito ang sinabi ng Panginoon sa lalaking itong mayaman, go sell everything. Go sell everything you have and give it to the poor. You trust me. My love will provide for you. You come, you follow me, and take hold of my love for you. You will never be in love, but you will prosper. You will have treasure, not just on this earth, but you will have treasure in heaven. Pwede kaya na sabihin ng Diyos, you will have treasure in heaven, but you will be poor on the earth? No, I don't think so. The love of God assures us that you will be, have treasure on earth and treasure in heaven. Amen? Saving faith is not in your doing, but in trusting God's love for you. Amen? So, ito po yung hamon sa atin. Uh, when you know that faith works through love, it's not about performance mentality. In the, it will not work in the principles of the kingdom. It will not work in spiritual, uh, in our spiritual relationship with God. That's why sinabi na, ni Apostle Paul sa mga Galatians, taga Galatians, you foolish Galatians. Sige po, sabayan nyo akong basahin ito at napakagandang basahin. Okay, wag nyo lang titingnan yung katabi nyo pag binasa nyo ito. Ano po? Okay, reading together now, you foolish Galatians, you started in the spirit but trusting by trusting in the finished work of Jesus and God's grace alone. Are you now going to end up in the flesh, trusting in your own efforts and performance? See, dalawa po ang choices natin how we live our Christian life. You live in the Spirit. Ito po ang kaparaanan ng Diyos. How do you live in the Spirit? Trusting in the finished work of Jesus and God's grace alone. Every time you see the word grace, unmerited favor, undeserved favor of God, you always behind it, ang motive po ng pagpapahayag niya sa atin, ang kanyang biyaya, ay ang kanyang pag-ibig. You may not see the word love in the grace of God, but it's all about the love of God. He loves you even though you are unlovable. He loves you even though you are unlovely. And to let you know that He loves you even so, pinibigay po niya sa atin ang biyaya niya. Undeserved favor. Are you not going to end up in the flesh? That's performance-based. Performance mentality in the flesh. Ano po yung in the flesh dito? Trusting your own efforts, your own performance to be pleasing before the Lord. We cannot please the Lord on our own. We can only please the Lord through Jesus Christ. Romans 3.20, Therefore, no one will be declared righteous, made right, declared not guilty, in God's sight by the works of the law. Ano po yung works of the law? When we talk about the law, it talks about self-effort. Kasi pag may law, dapat sundin niyo po yun. At sa pagsunod natin, kumakamisan, Lumang tipan po, ito ang nagiging batayan upang tayo pagpalain, upang tayo ay maging kalugod-lugod sa Diyos. But rather, through the law, ang sabi po ron, we become conscious of our sin. God applied to us, not the law. Kasi ayaw niya na ang kaligtasan natin is through self-effort. Ayaw niya, o hindi nababatay sa kalooban niya, na tayo maliligtas sa sarili natin gawa. God applied to us not the law, but His unconditional love. And what is that unconditional love? Another word is grace, favor, undeserved favor. We receive God's love through our faith in Jesus Christ. So faith works through love. Na connect na natin. Why? Because on our own, we cannot be pleasing before the Lord. On our own, hindi po natin pwedeng matanggap ang pabor ng Diyos. 
sa pamagitan lamang ng panampalataya at ang panampalataya natin ay nagiging epektibo pag pinanghawakan din natin ang pag-ibig ng Diyos kay Kristo. Amen. Summarize natin yung performance mentality na inaalis sa atin yung performance mentality kapag alam natin that faith works through love. When God our Savior, read together now, when God our Savior revealed His kindness and love, He saved us. Okay, period muna doon. So when God our Savior revealed His kindness and love, He saved us. He saved us. You did not save yourself. You did nothing to save yourself. You did not work for your salvation. You did not earn it, okay? So when God our Savior revealed His kindness and love, He saved us. Con continue. Not because of the righteous things. Or, nilagay ko po rito, good performance. Okay, continue. Not because of the righteous things, good performance, we have done. But because of His mercy. His love, His mercy, His grace, His compassion, His loving kindness, Nothing about you. Nothing about what you have done. Okay? Lahat po yan sa Panginoon. Kahit anong good performance natin ay wala pong, uh, wala pong merit ito. Ano po? Sapagkat so, ang kaligtasan natin ay sa biyaya lang ng Diyos. Let me conclude my first point saying, Salvation does not depend on our performance for Jesus, but on Jesus' performance for us. Kasi alam niya, anumang performance mo, puro hindi magla-like eh. Ano po? Dislike sila. Thumbs down. Kasi it will be lacking, it will be incomplete, it will be insufficient, it will always fall short. Kasi hindi pa pwedeng pagbatayan ng Diyos yun. Sa halip, ang kumumpleto sa ating kaligtasan, si Jesus. He did the greatest performance of His death. No po? Sa atin, the greatest performance of life. Sa kanya po, it was the greatest performance of death. Naku, anong klaseng performance yan? Kamatayan pa lang, papupuntahan. Ano po? Kasi, sa halip na tayo ang mamatay, siya ang namatay sa atin upang tayo ay mabuhay. Kasi, kung hindi nag-perform si Jesus sa Cruz, wala po tayong maasahan ngayon. Wala pong kaligtasan at ang pananampalataya natin ay baliwala. Ito po'y walang saysay. Ang mga nangangaral ang salita ng Diyos ay sinungaling kung si Jesus ay hindi namatay at nabuhay na mag-uli. Right? It's not about you. It's not about me. Relax. Okay? Relax. Huwag kayong mang gumigil na para bagang sa panggigigil nyo sa Panginoon. Ah, maglilingkod ako sa Diyos. Mas aktibo ako dito sa katabi ko. Mas mabuti ako at mahusay akong kristyano kaysa dito sa kapitbahay ko. You don't need to compare because there's nothing to compare with. Jesus performed for you and you don't need to impress Him. You don't need to be, to prove yourself to Him. But He has proven Himself because of His love for you. Maging sino ka paman, maging ano ka paman, ano man ang nagawa mo, whatever you did last summer, mahal ka pa rin ng Diyos. Amen. So number two now, faith works through, number one, ano nga po yun? Okay, God's love release us. Okay, God's love releases us from performance mentality. Now number two now, Uh, dalawa lang puntos po ito, kaya huwag kayong kikindat, wala kayong, huwag kayong pipikit, sapagkat baka matapos na tayo kaagad. Number two, God's love restrains us from prideful motivations. Hindi po pe, pwedeng magyabang. Ay, ako'y matagal akong kristyano at ako'y mabuting kristyano kaysa dito sa katabi ko. Itong katabi ko nga habang nanonood ng online worship ay natutulog at ako'y hindi. Hindi tayo pe pwedeng magyabang. Okay? God's love restrains us from prideful motivations. Romans 3, 23, 24. Read together now. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified, and all are justified freely by His grace 
through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Sa ating sarili, we always will fall short. You cannot do anything to bring solution or remedy to your sin. Anong remedyo ng Panginoon? Siya ay namatay sa krus. At siya ay nabuhay na maguli. Kaya mo ba mamatay para sa iyong kasalanan? Pag tayo po ay namatay para sa ating sariling kasalanan, ewan ko kung mabubuhay ka. Don't even attempt because you will not live. Right? It's only Jesus. God was pleased with Jesus. And He exalted Him. He given Him the name that is above every name. And He, he gave Him the power to resurrect. Ang Panginoon ang siyang nagbigay sa Kanya, nagbuhay sa Kanyang muli upang ipakita na ang Kanyang ginawa sa krus ay naging kalugod-lugod sa Diyos Ama at ito'y naging katanggap-tanggap. Kahit na po tayo sa sarili natin mamatay, kapos po tayo hanggang sementeryo lamang ang pupuntahan natin. Ano po? That's why kailangan po may pananampalataya kay Jesus at ang pananampalatayang yan ay nakaangkla sa pag-ibig ng Diyos. Faith works through love. Okay? And if your faith, you receive the love of God and you were saved, hindi ka pe pwedeng magyabang na yan ay galing sa iyo. Yan ay bunga ng ginawang pagtubos ni Jesus sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Read together again Ephesians 2:8 and 9, for it is by grace, God's compassion, loving kindness, you have been saved through faith and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. Maliwanag po rito, wala po tayong ipagmamalaki. God's love eliminates both our working and our boasting. Wala po. Hindi natin pipwedeng sabihin, ay ang galing kong mana ng palataya, ay buti na lang hindi ako katulad ng katabi ko. Ay hindi po tayo pipwedeng magyabang. Hindi tayo, hindi natin pipwedeng ipagyabang. Ang maging, let me say this, maging ang iglesia mo at iglesia ko. Hindi natin pipwedeng ipagyabang na ako, Galing ako sa ganitong iglesia o galing ako sa ganitong fellowship, galing ako sa ganito. You know, hindi po, wala tayong may pagmamalaki kapag ang kaligtasan ang pinag-usapan natin. Hindi yan sa gawa mo at dahil hindi sa gawa mo, wala kayo may pagmamalaki. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, if you want to glorify anyone, if you want to bring glory, then glorify Jesus in your life. Ipagyabang natin daw ang Panginoon, hindi ang sarili natin. Amen? So, look at this. There's no room for working and boasting. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, so what? Napat, nap, napalayas mo ang mga pinatubo na nadala mo sa Mindanao. Amen? I have faith that can move mountains But do not have love. I am nothing. Every say, everybody say, I am nothing. I am nothing. In, you, you can only say, I am nothing in reference to your salvation or to what you can do. You are nothing because everything is about God. Faith works not in what you have. If I have, you know, if I have the gift of prophecy, If I have faith, if I have all the money, if I have all the success in this life, if I have the good looks, you know, if I have uh, the influence, if I have a big ministry, if I have, if I have, it's not about what you have, my friend. It's about the love of God in you. Amen. You cannot boast in what you have because what you have did not come from you. What you have came From God who loves you that much, that even though you don't deserve it, He gave His blessing to you. He gave His good health to you. He gave His prosperity to you. He gave His all the good things in life. Amen? So it's not about, ito po yung sinasabi ko, it's not about having faith in your faith. No, you cannot have your faith in Jesus, not in your faith. When you say, have faith in your faith, igawa mo yun. Nananampalataya ka sa gawa mo. 
na ikaw ay manampalataya. Naintindihan. Faith works not in what you have, but in the love of God. Let's summarize our first point. And now, read together. And now there remain faith, abiding trust in God and His promises. Hope, confident expectation of eternal salvation. Love, unselfish love for others, growing out of God's love for me. These three, the choices, graces, but the greatest of this is love. Amen. So what? Ang lakas ng pananampalataya mo na lahat ng pinagpipray mong may sakit gumagaling. So what? If you do not have love, you're nothing. So what? If you are able to give sa lahat ng mga membro sa iglesia o sa anuman, ikaw ang pinakamalaki, ang ipinagkakaloob na ikapu. Tandaan mo, yung ikapong yun ay kahit malaki yun ay galing din sa Diyos yun. Sa Diyos yun ni. Eh. Right? You cannot say it's because of what you have done. Kahit ikaw ang pinakamagaling na singer sa worship team, kahit ikaw ang pinakamagaling na teacher sa Sunday school, kung wala po, hindi natin pinagtitiwala na pag-ibig ng Diyos, you are nothing. Nothing in us. Alam nyo, kapag dumating na tayo sa punto na para bang deserving na ako, ang biyaya ng Diyos, deserving na ako sa biyaya ng Diyos. Tama lang na ako'y paumla rin niya sapagkat ako'y naglilingkod sa Kanya. Tama lang na ako'y suklian niya ng marami pang pagpapala sapagkat malaki ang ikapu kaysa dito sa katabi ko. Ay, ibig sabihin, nagyabang ka na. Wala po tayo may pagyayabang. Kung ano mang may pagyayabang natin, di yan galing sa iyo. Galing yan sa Panginoon. At kung ikaw man, ay nakapagpapahayag ng pag-ibig ng Diyos. Hindi rin yan galing sa iyo. It's the love of God growing in you. Love for others growing out of God's love for you. Pag-ibig din po ng Diyos yun. Because when we love, we are able to love because He first loved us. And everything else, lahat po ito, faith, hope, love, lahat po ito ay importante sa Panginoon. But the greatest. Everybody say with me, greatest. Say with me, but the greatest of this is love. So, ito po yung bottom line ng ating buhay, Kristiyano. And I pray na tayo po ay lalo pang lalago sa pag-ibig ng Diyos. At habang lumalago tayo sa pag-ibig ng Diyos, alam ko na mas tatatag, magiging efektibo at magiging uh, may kapangyarihan ang ating pananampalataya sa Kanya. Amen? That's why, again, ano po ang napag-usapan natin? Faith works through the love of God in Christ. Number one, God's love releases us from performance mentality. You don't need to perform. You just need to abide and remain in His love. Hindi na kailangang palaging magpa-impress, you know. Sa bagay, sa nililigawan, pwede magpa-impress. Pero sa Diyos, hindi na po kailangan. At the same time, hindi rin, ah, hindi na pala ako dapat magpa-impress, so bara-bara ba'y na. Kung ano na lang, buhay ko, yun na lang. Ay, hindi rin po kung alam mo ang mahal ng Diyos, na mahal ka ng Diyos, naranasan mo sa buhay mo, ang kadakilaan ng kanyang pag-ibig ng Diyo, pag-ibig niya sa iyo, ikaw ay nahanap niya, niyakap niya ng kanyang pagmamahal. Abay, of course, yung pag-ibig na natanggap natin, yun din ang ibinabalik natin sa pamagitan ng pamumuhay na matuwid at pamumuhay na kalugod-lugod sa kanya. Amen? Number two, God's love restrains us from prideful motivations. Wala tayong maipagyayabang. The love of God eliminates our working and our boasting. Wala po. At the end of the day, ano man ang nagawa natin dito sa mundong ibabaw na ito, maaaring dahil sa ating panapalataya, maaaring dahil sa biyaya ng Diyos, tandaan nyo, pag tayo po'y nalibing, ang alaala lamang ay dalawang bagay lamang po yan. It's either yung lapida mo sa sementeryo o yung garapon na ang laman ay abo mo. Yan lamang po magiging alaala. Pero 
sa buhay natin kapag ipinamuhay natin ito sa panampalataya na gumagawa at kumikilos sa pamagitan ng pag-ibig ng Diyos. God will continue on our legacy. God Himself will use you kahit tayo po'y nawala na sa mundong ibabaw, gagamitin pa rin tayo ng Diyos upang ang kanyang kaharian ay lalo pang lumawak. In closing, let me just uh, I just remember someone. We know si marami pong nakakaalam kay Miles Monroe, kay Dr. Miles Monroe. Sila po, kasama ng kanyang asawa, kasama ng mga leaders ng kanyang church sa Bahamas, kasama po sila lahat sa isang naganap na aksidente plane crash. Ano po? Namatay po sila. But you know what? Hanggang ngayon, ginagamit si Miles Monroe ang kanyang mga mensahe, ang kanyang wisdom, ang kanyang pangangaral. Hanggang ngayon, maging sa ating kasalukuyang panahon. Miles Monroe, I would say, he was a very humble person. Ang itinataas niya ay ang kaharian ng Diyos. Itinataas niya ang biyaya ng Diyos. As Miles Monroe exalted Jesus, even in his death, even while he has already gone up to heaven, God still is exalting him and using him for his glory and for his honor. At the end ng bottom line, wala po tayong may pagmamalaki. Lahat tayo mawawala dito sa mundong ibabaw. Ang maipagtataas natin, maipagmamalaki lamang natin ay ang Panginoong Yesus na tayo'y naligtas sa biyaya niya di sa ating gawa. At tayo ay nananampalataya, kumikilos, gumagawa. Ang pinagtitiwala natin, hindi ang ating sariling kakayanan, kundi ang pag-ibig na ating natanggap mula sa Kanya. Amen? Let's all stand now. And have this declaration. Because these are the things that God will do in your life because He loves you that much. Reading together now. Today, I receive and believe God's word. So I declare, I am healed. I am restored. I am whole. I am strong in the Lord every day and in every way. Today, I stand strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. For He is my refuge and strength in times of trouble. Today I receive God's perfect peace to guard my heart from any fear or worry, and I choose to rest and trust in the Lord Jesus. Today I pray for wisdom, guidance, direction, and protection to our government leaders and agencies in solving this health crisis. Today I plead the blood of Jesus to cover shield and protect me and my loved ones from this evil virus. Today, I choose to wait, hope, and put my trust in the Lord. So He will energize and refresh me with His strength, both physically and spiritually. Today, I release God's grace, peace, and blessing to the church and to our nation. We shall overcome, we shall prevail. In Jesus' name, everybody said... Amen. Remain standing as we close in prayer. Panginoon, salamat po sa mensahe mo sa amin na bagamat ang panampalataya ay kaloob mo, ito'y nagiging epektibo labang kapag pinanghawakan namin ang pag-ibig ni Kristo sa amin. Ang ibig sabihin, kami po ay lubos na magtitiwala sa iyong ginawa sa krus at hindi sa aming ginagawa sa kasalukuyan. Salamat po ng marami sapagkat ang biyaya mo at pagpapala ay sapat para sa amin. At ang anumang bagay na aming magagawa, iaalay namin ito sa iyo bilang mahalimuyak na hain at upang maipahayag namin ang aming pagpapasalamat sa lahat ng kabutihan mo, katapatan mo, kagandahang loob mo at biyaya mo sa aming mga buhay. Salamat po ng marami, Panginoon. Purihin ka, luwalhatiin ka sa iyong dakilang pag-ibig sa amin. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, ito pa aming isama at dalangin. Amen. As you are standing, please lift up your hands and shout your victory. Jesus! And shout your praise. Hallelujah! Thank you for learning with us, studying with us the Word of God, and appreciating more the love of God. And I say to you, you are blessed, and I love you all.